Aphorism An aphorism is an original thought, spoken or written in a laconic and memorable form. Aphorism literally means a distinction, or definition. The term was first used in the aphorisms of Hippocrates. The oft-cited first sentence of this work is. The term was later applied to maxims of physical science, then statements of all kinds of philosophical, moral, or literary principles. In modern usage an aphorism is generally understood to be a concise statement containing a subjective truth or observation cleverly and pithily written. Literature Aphoristic collections, sometimes known as wisdom literature, have a prominent place in the canons of several ancient societies, such as the Sutra literature of India, the Biblical Ecclesiastes, Islamic Hadith, the Golden Verses of Pythagoras, Hesiod's Works and Days, the Delphic Maxims, and Epictetus' Handbook. Aphoristic collections also make up an important part of the work of some modern authors, such as Josa Maria Escriva, compiled from other spiritual authors, Georg Christoph Lichtenberg, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Giacomo Lepidi, Arthur Schopenhauer, Soren Kierkegaard, Friedrich Nietzsche, Ludwig Wittgenstein, Franz Kafka, Elias Canetti, Karl Kraus, Montaigne, Nicholas Champfort, La Roche Foucault, Stanislaw Jerzy Lek, Andrzej Majewski, Mikhail Chorovsky, Antonio Porcia, Celia Green, Robert A. Heinlein, Blaise Pascal, E.M. Kieran, Oscar Wilde, Malcolm de Chazel and Nassim Nicholas Taleb. A 1559 oil on oak panel painting, Netherlandish Proverbs, also called the Blue Cloak or the Topsy Turvy World by Peter Bruegel the Elder, artfully depicts a land populated with literal renditions of Flemish aphorisms, proverbs, of the day. The aphoristic genre developed together with literacy, and after the invention of printing, aphorisms were collected and published in book form. The first noted published collection of aphorisms is Adagia by Erasmus of Rotterdam. Other important early aphorists were Balthazar Gratian, François de la roche Foucault, and Blaise Pascal. Two influential collections of aphorisms published in the 20th century were The Uncombed Thoughts by Stanislaw Jerzy Lech, in Polish, and Itch of Wisdom by Mikhail Chorovsky, in Russian and English. Society in many cultures, including Samuel Johnson's England, many East and Southeast Asian societies, and throughout the world, the ability to spontaneously produce aphoristic sayings at exactly the right moment is a key determinant of social status. Many societies have traditional sages or culture heroes to whom aphorisms are commonly attributed, such as the Seven Sages of Greece, Confucius or King Solomon. Misquoted or misadvised aphorisms are frequently used as a source of humor. For instance, wordplays of aphorisms appear in the works of P. G. Oldhouse, Terry Pratchett and Douglas Adams. Aphorisms being misquoted by sports players, coaches, and commentators form the basis of private eyes Coleman Ball's sex.